Hi, I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. You may have read today that a study was done looking at whole grains and that people who consume whole grains have less risk of dying from cardiovascular disease, heart disease, and cancer. This was not a new study. This was actually what we call a meta-analysis where they take a number of studies and combine them. There are problems with doing meta-analysis, statistical problems, but let's talk about the problems with whole grains in general. The first problem is there's not a definition of a whole grain in the United States. If you go down your grocery store aisle and say, look at something and it says made with whole grains, it could be made with flour. And we know that highly processed grains lead to increased risks of heart disease. Second problem is this. People who identify as eating whole grains tend to be people who eat a lot of whole vegetables. And there is a tremendous cardiovascular protective effect of vegetables and fruits, as well as an anti-cancer effect of vegetable and fruit consumption. So separating out people who just eat whole grains from those who just eat vegetables is difficult. Unless, of course, you find people who are Paleolithic, in which case they won't be eating grains of any sort, but eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. That will be an interesting study because we will be able to differentiate the effect of vegetables from grains. So when you're going down the aisle of the grocery store that says made with whole grains, don't think that that study we just talked about means you should reach for it and you'll be protected. Instead, have a bit of skepticism when looking at it. Because it says made with whole grains, it probably was once. But unless you can take a look at that and identify not only the endosperm, but the germ and all of the other layers and besides the starch, it's probably just another milled grain to look at. There goes my morning toast. For your doctor's orders, I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. Good day.